my legs really need a couple days off, but I just don't want to slow down and uh, I don't want to slow down and stop riding or running or getting out there. You know, it's like I'm here. Today I came back out to the Adams Gulch Trailhead to ride again. This is where I rode two days ago uh, and got an awesome video, rode some awesome trails. This time I wanted to take Adams Rib Trail up higher and ride the upper part of it. The lower part is commonly ridden and it's a really uh, well-known trail down here in Warren Inn, but the trail actually goes up a lot higher. So I decided to take that up <coughs> and see how high I could go with it and kind of see what happened. And right now I'm at pretty much the high point. You can see that tree down behind me. I went over that uh, and up a little bit and there's another tree down and then another tree down so i kind of just came back here and figured i'd start descending and start the recording here and unlike the lower part of the trail which is really worn in and you know has a lot of activity on it uh there's basically i don't think many people coming up here there's a few you know tracks on the ground but they look like they're a few days old from bikes uh and the trail is I don't want to say overgrown, it's not overgrown to the point of like, you know, having to worry about uh, kind of whippers hitting your arms and your hands as you're coming down, you know, giving you that nice sting. It's not overgrown in that way, but there's a lot of kind of grass growing into the trail, so it's not really worn down or worn in. Uh, you'll see it as I kick it, you know, it's a real backcountry style ride here. That's what I got, uh, that's what I got ahead of me here, so I'm going to just put this camera on and kick it down this descent. Enjoy it, guys. down the upper Adams rib and getting up here was uh, definitely a workout. Uh, the trail not really worn in as I was kind of saying in my pre-roll there. So you hit a lot of loose parts. A lot of loose parts where it's hard to really get any traction to pedal and get up. Nothing uh, extremely steep, but still just a lot of areas that are hard to pedal because it's not worn in. My legs are a little tired, of course. It's been uh, four or five days in a row riding, and yesterday I didn't ride, but I decided to run. And you know, a little run turns into a big run. I don't know how to take it easy, I guess. So my glutes are kinda, my glutes are a little tender from that. Whew. My glutes are a little tender from that run, is what I'm saying. My legs really need a couple days off, but I just don't want to slow down and uh, I don't want to slow down and stop riding or running or getting out there. You know, it's like I'm here. I want to get out there and get after it. And I've been keeping my diet, my nutrition pretty lean and pretty healthy, eating a lot, a lot of lean foods. Green vegetables and lean meat, you know? So I'm doing that as best as I can so that I can ride and keep pushing myself. Actually, for the last few days, basically the only thing I've had to eat are wraps. And I do some low carb wraps, which are lettuce wraps with turkey and roast beef and lunch meats in them and then sometimes I'll wrap them in an actual low-carb, high-fiber, uh, not burrito, but tortilla. So I'll do that too, but I've been eating that for like four days now, like the same thing. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, you know what, I can't keep doing this anymore. I gotta go out and find some food. And fortunately I found some good places in Ketchum that have some nice, healthy foods and salads on the menu, mixed with unhealthy foods, of course. Uh, one of them, if you're in Ketchum and want to check it out, is Rap City on Main Street. And then, what's the other one? Uh, Perry's, which is on 4th Avenue or 4th Street. Just look them up, it's not very hard to find them in there, in the town. 
Perry's a wrap city, uh, but they've both got wraps, eh? And they've also got salads. But it's all about getting the nutrients into my body so I can keep at it day in and day out and keep attacking these trails. And well, you can see what I'm talking about here when I say this is a little rugged and overgrown. Slippery. Almost ate it there. Actually, I thought I was eating it. I think I got a little uphill up ahead, so I need a pedal. So one thing you learn about riding in Florida is that you gotta pedal on the descents. If you can ride, pedal on the descents in Florida, the trails are like a roller coaster. And you really don't have to work too hard to get anywhere. Where am I going? No berms out here on these corners. Descending again, I think so. off the trail there so I guess it is a little hard to follow
All right, we're almost down now to the upper section of Adams Rib. I think, yeah, there's the trail junction. I'm just gonna go right down into it. There we go. Back on some faster single track. Well, that blew, but I guess for going bad, it went pretty damn good. Uh, you know, when things go bad, they can go really fucking bad, or they can go pretty good like that. It had the potential to be bad there. Um, yeah, it had the potential to be bad, but fortunately, it didn't go bad. It just kind of comes with the territory, though. Nothing extremely gnarly, but... Uh, yeah, nothing extremely gnarly. I don't know, it'd be interesting to see on the video if there was anything I could have, should have done differently there, but I think I was just going fast and maybe not really, I don't wanna say not paying attention, but getting a little carefree, just kind of cruising, but I'm still going fast and bad things can happen even when you're on an easy trail. So yeah, we're going bad. It all went pretty good. 